Welcome again in my course Power Electronics Application in Power System. In last few lecture, I discuss uh, the uh, voltage control approach using static VAR compensator, right. So, this is the last lecture on this topic. So, I will conclude the uh, application of static VAR compensator in power system in this particular lecture. And in this particular lecture, I will discuss uh, a numerical problem related to the uh, voltage control uh, of power system using SVC. Okay. So, let us proceed. So, voltage control of power system. using SVC a numerical example. So, this is a numerical example uh, on this particular topic which I am going to discuss uh, in fact which I already have discussed in the last two, three lectures. Okay. So, uh, there is a numerical problem. Let me write this numerical problem. A three phase, three phase, 400 kV, 400 kilo volt, 50 hertz, 800 kilometer long, transmission line is operating with V s that is you know sending on voltage equal to V r is equal to 1 per unit 1 per unit remember here the base voltage is 400 kV. So, 1 per unit means it uh, actually in terms of voltage they are operating at 400 kV. And the rated load of the line corresponds to delta is equal to 45 degree. Okay. So, it means that this is the value of delta the load angle uh, for which the rated power will flow through this line. The line inductance is given as 1 milli henry per kilometer and the capacitance is 6 nano farad per kilometer. Okay. So, in it is a uh, you know the long line. So, these parameters are considered to be distributed and these are the values right. Then an SVC is to be connected or is to be designed to be placed at the midpoint of the line. midpoint of the line. The limits of the control range correspond to 
delta is equal to 30 degree and delta is equal to 90 degree. Okay. So, that is what the problem statement. Now, you have been asked to determine in question number A, find the limits of SVC susceptances in per unit, per unit is written as P full stop U full stop if the slope of control characteristic is question number A 0 and question number 2 5 percent. This is question A. There is another question that is question B. Question B says that I ask you to determine, determine the maximum power flow in the line in per unit for the slope of the control characteristics question number a is again 0, question number 2 is 5 percent. Okay. So, this is the questions or problems asked. All right. Now, we have to solve this. So, let us do the solution. Now, before you start solving one thing you should understand that it uh, this whole analysis is means that we have a uh, long transmission line model like this. This is the sending end voltage V s, this is the receiving end voltage V r. So, V s as you know it is considered to be V s at an angle delta, V r we consider as a reference voltage and here at the midpoint we have a is V C connected at this midpoint. Okay. Now, as you know this S V C is is model traditionally modeled as uh, a variable susceptance. Right. So, therefore, if you look at this first question, question number A, uh, you have been asked to, uh, to determine the S V C susceptance in per unit with the two different control the characteristic slope one is 0 percent another is 5 percent. Okay. This is the first question and second question I will come later on. Now, how do you find out this that means, we have to find out the SPC susceptance range one is that what do you mean by SPC susceptance range if you can go back and uh, see the control characteristics of a SPC which is drawn many times while discussing this SVC uh, in this particular course, then you can see this SVC is operating under two conditions. One is inductive mode of compensation, another is capacitive mode of compensation. Right? So, under these two conditions, there exist two different value of susceptances. So, the limits on the susceptance means these two extreme values of the susceptances correspond to this uh, control range which is given as delta is equal to 30 degree to delta is equal to 90 degree. So, here as you know delta is basically the load angle, load angle or you can write it as a angular difference between 
V S and V R. Okay, so you can see over here. Now this delta, how it varies? Delta varies according to the load, uh, or delta varies according to the uh, power flow of this particular transmission line. So this is what the uh, suppose power flow. Okay, now we know uh, some of the equations. What are the equations? We know. So we know that this I S V C is equal to V theta n minus V reference divided by x s plus z theta n. Okay. So, this is already I discussed in the last two lectures. Okay. Now, what is V theta n? V theta n is the theta n equivalent voltage and z theta n is the theta n equivalent impedance seen from the uh, point where S V C is connected. Right. Now, how do we find out this V theta n and Z theta n? I am coming to that. First, you have to see that how do you find out this V reference? How do you find out this V reference? So, V reference is the reference voltage of the control characteristics correspond to the conditions that uh, S V C uh, is providing zero compensation. Okay. Now, how do you find out this V reference? This V reference is usually found out. Uh, by considering the rated load of the line which is this that is delta is equal to 45 that is the rated load. So, at rated load rated load the midpoint voltage midpoint midpoint means S V C bus where the S V C is connected this one this midpoint voltage is considered to be to be the reference voltage okay okay now what is that actually so v reference is this v reference is now is equal to the midpoint voltage corresponds to the uh, rated load Okay, corresponds to the rated load. So, that is why it is equal to this V multiplied by we know that at the midpoint this voltage expression is V cos delta by 2 divided by cos beta L by 2. Okay. Now, what is to be done here is this delta corresponds to this, uh, this rated load that is 45 degree. So, V reference in per unit per unit is this v actual v reference divided by v so this is equal to v reference divided by v which is equal to cos delta by 2 divided by cos beta l by 2 okay now we know this delta but we have to find out what is beta l to find this beta l we have to use this line parameters that is line inductance and line capacitances okay now what is uh, this beta beta as you know it is equal to omega root over l multiplied by c where l is the line inductance and c is the line capacitances now omega is you know 2 pi multiplied by frequency frequency is given as 50 hertz so this is 50 hertz multi uh, multiplied by this square root of this line inductance which is 1 uh, milli Henry. So, 1 milli Henry means 1 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3 Henry and multiplied by C. C is given as 6 nano farad. So, 6 nano farad means 6 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 9 uh, nano farad. Now, this whatever you are getting this is in terms of radian per kilometer. Okay. So, then this beta L would be equal to so, this value if you calculate this is coming out to be 7.6953 into 10 to the power minus 4 radian per kilometer. Okay. Now, this beta L is basically this multiplied by this line length which is given as 800 kilometer. 
So, 7.6953 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 4 multiplied by 800 that much of radian. If you calculate then this is coming out to be uh, 0 0.616 radian. Now, if you convert it to degree then you have to multiply 0 0.616 with 180 divided by pi. So, that much of degree. So, this is coming out to be 35.29 degree. So, beta L is coming out to be 35.29 degree. So, therefore, V reference in per unit is equal to in per unit is equal to this cosine uh, this delta by 2 and delta we consider rated load. So, this is 45 degree divided by 2 divided by cos beta L by 2. Now, once we already get this beta L is equal to 35.29. So, I will put it uh, this here. So, 35.29 degree divided by 2. So, if you do this calculation, then it will be coming out to be 0 0.9695 per unit. So, that is the reference voltage. Okay. All right. Now, we also need to find out uh, this Z thevenin as well. Okay. Now, what is Z thevenin? Z thevenin already we discussed. Z thevenin is equal to Jet thevenin is what? It is the thevenin equivalent impedance seen from the point where SVC is connected. Okay? So, that is this point, this point, this point where this SVC is connected. From this point, the net impedance seen uh, uh, of the line is basically the uh, thevenin equivalent impedance. So, jet thevenin we know its expression we already derived. It is equal to Zc divided by 2. 10 beta L by 2. Okay. So, so, this Z thevenin is in ohm. So, therefore, Z thevenin in per unit will be actual value of Z thevenin divided by the base value. Here, base value is Zc. Now, what is Zc? Zc is the surge impedance. So, this Zc is surge impedance. Now, since we are calculating this Z thevenin in per unit, we need not to find out this value of Zc. Rather, we can write this expression as this is equal to half tan beta L by 2. So, which is equal to half tan. Now, we know beta L is equal to 35.29 degree that is this, this 35.29 degree already we determine. So, let us put this value 35.29 divided by 2 degree which is equal to how much that is 0 0.159 per unit. So, this is what Z thevenin in per unit. Okay? Z thevenin in per unit I am not writing it again and again because we are uh, determining every quantities in per unit. Okay. So, we obtain this Z thevenin. Then what is our next task? Now, our next task will be to find out the susceptance. Now, in order to find out the susceptance of the two extreme control uh, characteristics, one is uh, our control uh, point, one is when the SBC will operate at uh, full capacity hard uh, uh, production uh, zone or that is when uh, the SBC will operate at the VAR production limit and another is the susceptance at the VAR absorption limit. So, let us first start with this determination of SVC susceptance. So, determination of SVC susceptance at maximum
भार एबजॉर्बशन लिमिट ओके एंड व्हेन इट विल हैपन यू कैन सी ओवर द रेंज ऑफ द कंट्रोल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स वन करस्पॉन्स टू डेल्टा इज इक्वल टू 30 डिग्री अनदर करस्पॉन्स टू डेल्टा इज इक्वल टू 90 डिग्री नाउ डेल्टा इज इक्वल टू 30 डिग्री करस्पॉन्स टू द सिचुएशन दैट द लाइन इज लाइटली लोडेड ओके लाइन लोड इज लोअर देन द रेटेड लोड रेटेड लोड करस्पॉन्स टू डेल्टा इज इक्वल टू 45 डिग्री एंड डेल्टा इज इक्वल टू 90 डिग्री करस्पॉन्स टू द कंडीशन दैट लाइन इज हेवीली लोडेड okay so therefore uh, what we can uh, start that uh, at this particular absorption limit corresponds to delta is equal to 30 degree when line is lightly loaded now in order to find this so let us start with this first condition corresponds to the control characteristics slope of the control characteristic is zero so when x is equal to 0 isvc will be equal to if you go back and see the expression of isvc this is already i discuss this we uh, determine from this uh, control characteristics and the thevenin equivalent circuit so this is equal to v thevenin minus v reference divided by xs plus z thevenin now we know uh, this xs is equal to 0 z thevenin value is already we determine v reference value is also determined now you have to find out what is v thevenin value now v thevenin corresponds to delta is equal to 30 degree is equal to cosine delta by 2 so this is cosine delta by 2 divided by cosine beta l by 2 now corresponds to delta is equal to 30 degree this is equal to cosine 30 degree divided by 2 divided by this cosine uh, beta l is already we determine it is 35.29 degree divided by 2 so if you calculate this this is coming out to be 1.0 one four per unit that means that much of over voltage we have in the at the midpoint of the line and the uh, role of the uh, this svc is to mitigate that over voltage so therefore we have this v thevenin corresponds to this condition we know xs we know z thevenin we know the v reference let us put all these values so v, th v thevenin is 1.014 minus this v reference already we determine this is equal to 0 0.9695 xs is 0 as we considered and z thevenin already we determine 0 0.159 per unit so which is coming out to be when we put all this file according to my calculation it is coming out to be 0 0.28 per unit okay now when uh, this happens then what will be the bsvc bsvc limit that is bsvc uh, absorption limit we know that uh, bsvc is related to isvc and vsvc so this is equal to we use a negative symbol already we explain it many times to bring this current in uh, positive uh, plane of this x uh, axis so this is uh, equal to minus isvc by vsvc now what is minus isvc it is already we got that is 0 0.28 per unit and what is vsvc vsvc we know this is equal to v reference plus isvc multiplied by xs as per the control characteristics now since xs is equal to 0 so since xs is equal to 0 this part will be equal to 0 so then what we will get this as a minus 0 0.28 divided by v reference already we determine this is uh, this 0 
9695 plus this 0 because already excess we consider 0 here. So, this is coming out to be as per my calculation 0 0.289 per unit. Okay. Now, let us do the second case again when excess is considered to be 5 percent that means 0 0.05 per unit. I hope that you understand this 5 percent corresponds to this 5 percent corresponds to 0 0.05 per unit. So, 5 percent corresponds to 0 0.05 per unit. Okay. So, therefore, we will repeat this all uh, analysis once again. So, in that uh, situation I S V C will be equal to this V thevenin, V thevenin already we determine that is 1.014 minus V reference, V reference is again 0 0.9695. So, the denominator of this I S V C will remain same as per the expression you can see. Numerator will be remain same as per this. Okay. But denominator will change because excess is not 0 here. So, the I am just writing denominator in a different color so that it should be distinguishable. So, this is now excess is equal to 0 0.05 plus this is equal to 0 0.159 which is coming out to be if you do this calculation as per my calculation it is coming out to be 0 0.15. 2 1 3 per unit. Okay. Now, once you get that then again for this condition also we can find out B S V C absorption limit is equal to minus I S V C divided by V S V C. Now, V S V C already we know this is equal to V reference plus I S V C multiplied by excess. Now, this minus I S V C let us put that is 0 0.213. Okay. Now, this divided by this V reference, V reference already we know this is 0 0.9695 plus I S V C, I S V C is already negative. So, this is minus uh, 0 0.213. 217 multiplied by this uh, 0 0.05. Now, if you do this calculation, this is positive again 0 0.213 and outside there is a negative. So, this will be eventually negative. So, this will be equal to uh, this minus 0 0.217 per unit. Okay. You can you may verify this this numerical values uh, as per my calculation this is coming out to be this. So, therefore, if we summarize so far what we get that uh, we write the absorption limits of S V C, we have two cases that is case 1, another is case 2. So, in case 1 excess is considered as 0, in case 2 excess is considered as 5 percent that is 0 0.05 per unit. So, this is 0 per unit, this is 0 0.05 per unit and we get this B S V C inductive this value we got corresponds to this excess is equal to 0, we got is minus 0 0.289 minus 0 0.289 per unit and here we get B S V C inductive limit is equal to minus 0 0.217 per unit. Okay. All right. So, these are the two answers that we get. Okay. Now, again coming back to the uh, next question. So, 
determination of determination of the maximum bar production limits okay this is the next question and you know that at bar production limit delta corresponds to the maximum value that is 90 degree so when the line is loaded with the highest possible loading that is that corresponds to delta is equal to 90 degree so therefore obviously this v thevenin will get change so this v thevenin corresponds to delta is equal to 90 degree is equal to v cos delta by 2 divided by cos beta l by 2 so v thevenin per unit is equal to uh, this v thevenin the actual value of v thevenin divided by this base voltage which is v so this is equal to cos delta by 2 delta is 90 degree so this is 90 degree divided by 2 that is 45 degree divided by cos beta l by 2 beta l again we already have determined uh, that is 35.29 degree so this will be equal to cos 35.29 degree divided by 2 if you do this calculation this is coming out to be 0 0.7 to per unit. Look at this voltage. This voltage is far below the 1 per unit. So, there is a severe under voltage uh, in this particular case. Now, the role of the SVC is to mitigate that under voltage, right. So, therefore, again we will uh, use the same expression to determine this ISVC. So, ISVC we know is equal to. So, first we will consider the case uh, that is excess is equal to 0 that is the slope of the control characteristic is equal to 0. So, I S V C we know is equal to uh, this V thevenin minus V reference. So, V thevenin minus V reference divided by excess plus Z thevenin. Okay. Now, this V thevenin already we determined that is 0 0.742 and V reference is already determined at the very beginning. So, this is the V reference expression, this is the V reference expression and we got this value of V reference is this that is 0 0.9695 per unit. So, we will put directly here. So, this is 0 0.9695 per unit divided by this excess value is considered to be 0 first and Z thevenin also will determine uh, that is equal to 0 0.159 per unit. So, that is 0 0.159 per unit. Okay. So, if you do the calculation as per my calculation it is coming out to be minus 1.431 per unit. Okay. Now, we will find out this BSVC when it is operating at capacitive region. So, B S V C at maximum production limit, production limit. So, this is equal to we know that minus I S V C divided by V S V C. Now, I S minus I S V C already we know that this minus of minus 1.431 per unit divided by this V S V C we know its expression is equal to V reference plus I S V C excess. So, this is equal to V reference plus I S V C excess. Now, we consider this excess is equal to 0. So, then this multiplication will be also 0. So, therefore, the expression of this would be equal to 1.431 divided by V reference, V reference is considered uh, already determined as 0 0.9695. So, which is coming out to be 1.476 per unit. Okay. This is one. Now, the second case is 
corresponds to x s is equal to 5 percent which is equal to 0 0.05 per unit. So, in this particular case again we will determine this I s b c, I s b c is equal to V thevenin, V thevenin is already 0 0.742 we know. The numerator will be same, so that is 0 0.742 minus 0 0.9695, only denominator will change, so this will be uh, excess will be no longer 0, so this will be 0 0.05 plus 0 0.159, which is equal to minus 1.089 per unit. So, once we get that, we will find out this B S B C production limit corresponds to excess is equal to 5 percent. which is equal to minus of this I S B C divided by V S B C, V S B C we know it is equal to V reference plus I S B C excess. Okay. Now, we already determined I S B C that is minus of minus 1.089 divided by this V reference, V reference is equal to uh, already we determined that this is uh, 0. 9695 plus this ISBC multiplied by excess. So, ISBC already we determined this that is minus 1.089 multiplied by the excess is we considered 5 percent slope. So, this is 0 0.05. So, if you do whole calculation then it is coming out to be 1.19 per unit. Okay. Now, if we summarize once again that add the maximum production limit if we consider these two cases one is case 1 corresponds to excess is equal to 0 that means uh, it means that we considered uh, 0 slope in the control characteristics case 2 corresponds to a positive slope that is 5 percent slope which corresponds to 0 0.05 per unit. So, this corresponds to 0 per unit this corresponds to 0 0.05 per unit. Now, when uh, it is so this B S B C capacitive uh, would be equal to 1.476 B S P C capacitive limit will be 1.476 per unit and this is equal to B S P C capacitance is equal to 1.19 per unit. Okay. This is what the result we got. Now, what would be the our interpretation of from this result? Look at this, uh, uh, this absorption limit of S P C. What you can see is that this control characteristics is influencing the uh, this this rating requirement in fact of the S P C. So, corresponds to excess is equal to 0 if rating requirement uh, is uh, 0.289 per unit then if you consider a positive slope of 5 percent the rating uh, requirement comes down to 0 0.217 per unit this is exactly i discussed in the last class uh, and this is numerically established here in this particular lecture okay so it means that there is a substantial uh, reduction of the rating requirement. Now, what do you mean by rating requirement? This absorption limit is the maximum hard absorption capacity of the S B C. So, depending upon that value, we will design this particular S B C and therefore, this S B C rating will directly depend upon two extreme condition. One is absorption limit, another is production limit. So, if, if you see simple accepting a 5 percent slope in the control characteristics brings down the rating requirement 
from uh, 0 0.289 to 0 0.217. So, that is what the advantage of having this uh, positive slope of this SVC control characteristics as compared to the zero slope. Now, here also same thing is true you can see uh, if we consider zero slope in the control characteristics the capacitive maximum bar production limit uh, of the SVC corresponds to the susceptance 1.476 per unit. Whereas, if you consider 5 percent slope in the control characteristics the same susceptance limit is come down to 1.19 per unit. So, therefore, the rating requirement is reduced. So, we can conclude the rating requirement of SVC is reduced at excess that control characteristic is 0 0.05 per unit as compared to excess is equal to 0. Okay. So, rating requirement of SVC is reduced that is one of the advantages of the positive slope of the control characteristic this is very important point. Okay. Now, let us uh, determine the second problem. Okay. So, determine the maximum power flow of the line in per unit uh, for the slope of control characteristic is 0 and that is 5 percent. Now, what do you mean this power flow? So, the power flow this is question number B or solution for question number B power flow through SVC compensated line. Remember this is not the power flow through SVC, but it is power flow through SVC compensated power transmission line. Now, what was the expression for that? We, we represent it like P uh, when we have SVC compensated that P SVC which was uh, in the last lecture I mentioned this is equal to V, V SVC divided by sin beta L by 2 sin delta by 2. Okay. Now, it is asked that let us determine this power flow in terms of per unit that is also important you have been asked to determine the maximum power flow in the line in per unit. Okay. So, maximum power flow is asked. So, maximum power flow happens when delta is maximum that is delta is equal to 90 degree. So, therefore, for maximum power flow for maximum power flow delta is equal to 90 degree. So, therefore, we can write this P S V C in per unit is equal to this V we know that is 1 per unit. V S V C will be already determined that V S V C is equal to V reference plus I S V C multiplied by X S. So, this is equal to V reference plus I S V C multiplied by X S. Okay. sin beta L by 2 already we determine. So, this is equal to uh, beta L already we determine is 35.29 degree. So, therefore, I will put it directly 35.29 divided by 2 that much multiplied by sin delta by 2. So, sin delta by 2 is sin 90 degree divided by 2. Now, we know that uh, this V reference value is equal to 0.9695 already you determined over here 0.9695. So, this will be equal to 1 multiplied by 0.9695. Since uh, x s is equal to 0 we consider that case a x s is equal to 0. So, therefore, this part will be equal to 0. So, plus 0 divided by this sign 35.29 degree 
divided by 2 multiplied by sin 45 degree. Now, if you do the calculation according to this my calculation it is coming out to be 2.26 per unit. Okay. Now, when you consider excess is equal to 5 percent that is 0 0.05 per unit, then the same calculation would be uh, P S V C per unit will be equal to this V is again 1 per unit already is base voltage, V reference is 0 0.9695. Now, ISVC multiplied by excess would not be 0. So, what is that value? So, this value we can uh, find out uh, from this uh, here because it is uh, operating at delta is equal to 90 degree. So, corresponding to this excess is equal to 0 0.05 slope, this is what this ISVC. So, this is equal to minus 1.089 minus 1.089. Nine multiplied by this excess, which is 0 0.05, divided by this denominator will remain same. That is sine 35.29 divided by 2 degree multiplied by this sine 90 degree divided by 2. That is 45 degree. If you do this calculation, so this is coming out to be. 2.135 per unit. Okay. So, this gives you the answer or solution of all the questions which have been asked in that problem. So, that is this problem. This gives you the answers of all the questions have been asked in the problem. Now, uh, one thing you should understand that um, while uh, solving this problem, this uh, values of the numerical uh, or uh, this numerical values of different parameters are important to us. Most importantly, we, we, we uh, can have a interpretation of these parameter values. So, therefore, uh, the similar way we interpret this, this uh, remark, we can also interpret uh, this power flow from these two numerical values. One is 2.26 per unit when x is equal to 0, another is 2.135 per unit when excess is equal to 0 0.05 per unit. Okay. So, if you compare this then what we can write uh, is the power flow of SVC compensated line. I should uh, rather say the maximum power flow of course, the maximum power flow because this is also uh, considered to be maximum power. So, this is also is maximum power, this is also maximum power because that is why we consider this delta is equal to 90 degree in both the cases. So, the maximum power flow of the MSVC compensated line gets reduced when excess is considered consider to be 5 percent as compared to that of excess is equal to 0. Okay. So, that is another uh, remark from this particular numerical analysis. So, we can have two remarks. One is uh, when we have a uh, consideration of some positive slope, here incidentally we consider a 5 percent slope, but that slope can be even 2 percent, 3 percent, 4 percent, 5 percent and so on. But when you do consider this, uh, this rating requirement of the SBC would be reduced. However, uh, this power flow that is maximum power flow through the line also will get reduced. So, if this is the benefit, this is the drawback. 
of this uh, consideration of positive slope of excess. So, as you know as a student of in, uh, engineering that when something uh, gives you benefit there is some uh, drawback also. Okay. So, I explain both the things here with this numerical example. One last thing I will uh, say uh, before I conclude this part of the lecture is if you look at this whole numerical analysis starting from here, then you can see we can uh, have a design of this SBC considering uh, the different aspect which include the slope of the control characteristic, the slope of the control characteristics and we can come up with the uh, different uh, rating requirements of the SVC under different uh, consideration of the slope and which may also give you the different uh, amount of maximum power flow through the SVC compensated line. Okay. So, with this I conclude this particular lecture and we will uh, uh, discuss uh, the some other uh, topic of this particular course in the next lecture on what. So, till then uh, let me thank you for your attention once again. So, thank you very much for your attention for this particular lecture. Thank you.